How's it looking there? Uh, looks empty. Looks empty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're uh, back over to the winter camp here today. We have a ton of things to do. Uh, we thought we'd bring you guys along for another live action view uh, in the same format as the last couple of videos as you seem to really enjoy the content of us preparing the winter camp for the season. Uh, we'll be doing another Dutch oven uh, dish, I guess, over the open fire, so make sure you stick around and watch that. I do have some maintenance to do on the quad today, which means I had to take these tables out, bring the quad in to take care of some of those issues, which I'll show you guys as well, and some uh, general cleanup and landscape as we are anticipating some heavy snowfall. We already have around maybe five to 10 centimeters of snow down and we're expecting more this week. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be over on the snow machine the next video and uh, bringing over the rest of our gear because we're pretty bare bones here as we speak today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you do click that subscribe button, click that like, and make sure you click that bell notification to uh, receive notifications for future content. That's it? Sounds good. Okay, let's bring the rest <laughs> of our gear in, I guess. Okay, so next task at hand is to get the fire going. This is a pretty twisted piece of wood. I almost had to hit it on a on an angle for it to chop properly. See the way that's spiraled? So these are the branches from the tree we cut down in the construction of our winter camp video. I think we posted that two videos ago. These are fantastic resources for uh, keeping around camp. A lot of time guys will cut trees and leave the branches on site, which is completely fine. But keep in mind that if you have a good dead tree such as this one, it doesn't hurt to bring some of these back. Makes lighting your fire a lot easier.
So while we're waiting for this fire to burn down, should we go get the food ready? Yes, let's go do that. Okay. So we are doing a leg of lamb inside of the Dutch oven. We did put some preliminary spices on, so let you guys check this out. And in the meantime, we're going to add some more spice to it. And that's it, put the lid on it. All right, so it's been about uh, 30 minutes. So let's have a quick check to make sure everything looks good. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. It's hard to see, but this thing smells absolutely delicious. Those spices are fantastic. We have a small bush plane that's been circling around camp here. Not sure what it's doing. I think they spotted us. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess I should probably take the plastics off the quad now that it's nice and warm. Sounds good. So it's probably about uh, 15 degrees Celsius inside of the tent here, which is good for working on my quad. So I have to uh, change out a uh, adapter on one of my uh, air intakes. And in order to access it, I need to take some of the plastics off here on the quad. So I wanna be very careful with the cold weather to not break anything. So that's the reason why I brought it inside of the tent here today. Let's see if I can access this easily.
nice and easy. So I'll see if I can take the camera from Vivian and show you guys what I'm replacing. So it is a boot. This boot right here. If you guys notice, it's it's cracked and dry rotted. This was a little bit trickier than what I had anticipated. I had to take the plastics off on the other side. Be able to reach around the back. There we go. Perfect. Just like new. about what do you figure hour and a half yeah i sure. think it's uh, time to put the vegetables in now get a little grid fire going Have a peek in here. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, that smells so delicious as well. We can throw in our potatoes. So we already have these pre washed. The rest of our onions. Some rutabaga. We're going to add the other half of our beef broth. on for at least another hour. I guess now we'll just sit back and relax for an hour. 
We've been pretty busy since we arrived here today uh, between the maintenance, camp chores, cutting wood, preparing our food. Um, so we're just going to organize the tent a little bit, put everything back in the boxes, and uh, sit back and just uh, hang out. Relax. Relax. This Enjoy is what it's all about. Here. Peace. All right, guys, so the food's been cooking now for about uh, three hours. We're just about to take it off the grill over there. Let's have a look around here at the weather. It's uh, picking up, becoming quite gusty at the moment. And all of that white, fluffy snow in the trees are falling on top of the tent. Well, there goes one. <laughs> it's probably going to be a uh, dusty ride home tonight on the quad. Let's go check out to see what Vivian is up to. <laughs> Warming up your hands? A little bit. It's kind of chilly out there. Yeah, you've been up by that fire. Yeah. For the uh, last hour at least. Yeah, slaving away for cooking our meal. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished drinking some tea. How was that? Oh, I love tea. Tea yeah. with honey. Absolutely. So good. Especially sitting beside the fire and having tea. Right. So nice. That's a familiar sound. The hiss of the lantern. <laughs> Steaming away good. For some reason, when I picked this off of the hook, when I was using this thing, I just had uh -huh. this idea. I'm like, can you imagine if I dropped this now and I went oh. to the fire? <laughs> the entire day of cooking. So um, yeah, uh, let's have a look, I guess, see what the final product looks like here. I know it smells amazing. <laughs> let's get a peek. Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh. So let's have a look. Yes, vegetables are definitely done. Nice and soft. See the lamb retracted back off the bone there. So that's done. Perfect. It is cooked <laughs> absolutely perfect. Alright, so I guess I'll just cut some pieces off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be very pleased. Very, very pleased. Some turn up. Okay, so that's the first bolt. I'm going to pull up my second bowl. 
and then we'll do a little taste test here and let you guys see what we think about it. This is so delicious. Mm. The spices, it's amazing. Definitely. Mm. Carrots came out really good. And the turn up too. The potatoes are going to be nice and soft. Mm. The potatoes are really good too. Excellent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So you guys, a uh, very simple operation here. Uh, cast iron cooking is um, one of my favorite ways to cook. You can become very creative. It's 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 almost like a zero failure rate here <laughs> with using cast iron. Throw all of your favorite foods, vegetables, spices into the cast iron pot and just let it cook away for uh, two to three hours and you guys will make yourself some amazing food. I highly recommend using cast iron for cooking, especially if you're out camping. I know it's heavy, and uh, typically you wouldn't want to carry that in on your backpack. Um, but, you know, given the fact that we're camping with quads and, sorry, ATVs and skidoos, it's much easier to be uh, utilizing this type of cookware. But I do highly recommend it. I think everyone should own a Dutch oven and uh, <laughs> make some delicious Dutch oven feeds in there. So if there's any uh, recipes you guys uh, would want to recommend to me and Vivian, we can maybe try it as well this winter camp season. So put your favorite cast iron recipes in the comment section down below. Mm -hmm. And I'll check those out. And maybe we'll pick one of them and uh, give it a try this year. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, guys, we need to dig in. I'm so hungry here. <laughs> I've been extremely patient here with this video in terms of trying to get everything timed out right. And now I'm so hungry and I want to eat that food. So <laughs> do appreciate you guys coming back, checking out the video. Make sure you do click that subscribe button, click that bell notification. If you guys are not following us on uh, Facebook, check us out at Up North of 60. And if you're not following me on Instagram, check me out at Dave's True Life. Links for all of the socials are in the description box down below. You guys have a uh, wonderful evening and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.